Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, as y'all already know. And if you're new here, I'm an eBay reseller, and I go to Goodwill, and I go find things to buy and sell online. Let's go. Happy Friday, y'all. So we're all going in Goodwill, going back to the hard goods section. My son is obsessed with those Nerf guns. <laughs> And I saw that Barney doll at the bottom, and I know sometimes Barney can be worth it, and I can't believe I didn't see it on the shelf. Dang it. I looked right at it. <laughs> Maybe it'll still be there. Sometimes the toys stay here for a little while. That was an empty box. It was Legos. I know it looked like I snatched out of her hand, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, that's a glowworm. That's from 2011. But I know sometimes... They sell for pretty high. I think it's only the older ones, though, not the newer ones. I know 2011 is still kind of old, but I don't know if there's any batteries in it. It's not turning on at all, so I don't have a screwdriver. I should definitely start bringing one. It was a little bit crowded today, so I went to the toy section first. That's depression glass, I can definitely tell. It's $4.99, orange tag. There are some chips on the middle piece that I'm holding right now. I'll let it ride. I know depression glass can either be a good seller or it just sits in your store for a long time. This says Peace and Time, made by Joanne, you know, the fabric store. I do like it, though, the polar bear, and there's a pink one back there. Little fish plate, $1.99. This is Stylize. And the deviled egg trays. That's a bunny. $1.99. I'll let it ride. I don't know about that one though. But this one is the one I wanted to look at. It's $3.99 and it's green tag. And green tag is 50% off. I think this one would be better than the bunny one. A little art glass, hand blown. Maybe it's like a sun catcher. Maybe. A little trinket holder for like your rings. It's a dollar ninety nine. $1.99 for that. It has like little ceramic fruits and veggies on it. I know it just looks like vegetables, but tomatoes are fruit. <laughs> Another little dish. $3.99. That was $3.99 with the green tag, so it would have been 50% off. $1.99 for those little pumpkin and eggplant. Those little houses were cute down there. I really liked it. It was $4.99 up here. It was a green tag. I probably should have just grabbed it, but it did have a huge crack. I don't know if you can see it. It's a crack on the lid. And it goes from the flower all the way down. This, I don't see any damage. It does say China on the bottom. I do love selling cookie jars. So many figurines, too. I do put it back just because it has that big crack in it. And I've sold cookie jars that have cracks in it before. But this one was pretty large. 
I don't know. Maybe I should have got it. Little dome, the glass domes back there. I like this cookie jar. It's a rabbit. Green tag as well. I don't know why I didn't pick up the pear one, but that's four ninety nine. Originally eight ninety seven from Walmart. Maybe that was a bad decision putting it back on the shelf. That's okay. He had no damage either. That's a handmade. Well, it's probably hand painted, but a dollar ninety nine. Does have some chips, but it's cute. Cute little flower pot. Or whatever you want to put in there. I like this. It's three ninety nine. Not for resale though. For myself. I'll let it ride in the buggy. That's a candlestick holder. Culinary colors, bakeware. At this Goodwill they do have like a big shelf just full of toys. That's where the kids normally go. Unless it's super crowded, then I don't want them to go over there by themselves, but. My son has been asking for a Nerf gun. They don't have any darts, so I can't test it out. But this one seems like all the mechanism works. I know that sometimes they get loose and they don't shoot the bullets anymore. Maybe that's why they're at Goodwill. <laughs> or maybe they're at Goodwill because their kid doesn't play with it anymore. I don't know. A little butter dish. I'll let it ride. Is that like a little scarf holder? Box of... Rocks, dollar ninety nine. These are plastic little measuring cups. They're each ninety nine cents, but it's probably missing another one. I have no clue what these are. They're ninety nine cents, and they're gross on the inside. <laughs> I wish I would have put it back. It says Nordic wear on it. I don't know what that is either. To cook something, but. For the microwave, maybe? And they had a whole bunch of them. All green tag. A lot of plastic containers down there. I mean, if y'all need to find plastic containers, this is probably where y'all should find that. It's a cup with Kim on it. It's one of those um, handmade tumblers. Baskets. That one's really cute. Dollar ninety nine. Looks like somebody was gonna paint that piece of wood and then gave up. <laughs> or forgot about it. Dollar ninety nine on that piece as well. It does have somebody's name on it. Maybe somebody made it. That reminds me of a pumpkin. <laughs> Maybe it had a lid. Those hangout posters. I'm going to let it ride, but not for resale. It is from Target. It says there's four pieces in there. And there was another one. I'll let it ride and I'll think about it. That 
Baskets at $1.99. $1.99. $1.99 on the little basket purse. That part doesn't open. That side does. Maybe it was a souvenir piece. That one still has the original TJ Maxx tag on it. That side doesn't open. And they've got $9.99 on it. It's really dirty on this side, but it's older. I do like it. If I had an antique booth, I'd probably pick that up and put that in there. I thought about having one at an antique store, but then I was like, uh, no. Because of the prices. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't know. Do y'all have people that watch my channel that sell? Do y'all have a booth or do y'all just sell online? But I feel like you get more eyes on your things if it's online than opposed to at a store. But then you think people don't have to pay shipping if it's at the store. I don't know. Two ninety nine. It's like terracotta. It's a loaf pan. Inside is glazed. I also thought about having my own store, not just a booth, but having my own store. But that's a lot to go into it. And then I feel like the economy right now, probably not great to have a store with <laughs> um, Goodwill junk. <laughs> but then you get other people to have a booth in there, and then after you have so many, they pay your rent. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think about it a lot. And that's a little, maybe a cheese tray, but that piece doesn't come out, and it has like a finger hole where you would... It looks like it would come out, but it doesn't. And it's missing probably the spoon or the fork that went with it, or the knife. Cute little horse. Rocking horse, dollar ninety nine. And when I was talking about the store, when I said it pays your rent, it pays the rent of the store. After you have so many vendors in there. I don't know. And then the they also take like a percentage of what the vendors make on each sale. But y'all probably already know all that. <laughs> uh, cute little horse. I mean unicorn. It's like a, it goes in a corner. Very 90s to me. It was 50% off. It did have some damage to it. That's why I put it back. Because I have sold wood decor before. What are these called? Mortar. I don't know. I don't know how to say. I don't think it's mortar. It's something. Oh, I don't know what it's called. And then my daughter found this. It's two ninety nine, dollars And she said it's as old as I am. Because it was from 92. <laughs> Cute little red wooden box. It's 99 cents. It's a little card. $1.99. It says Honduras on it. A heart-shaped bowl. 99 cents. I'm pretty sure they're probably teak, but... 99 cents on the little cat. I thought that was going to be a real stone, but it was just like a little plaque made to look like the stone. Little measuring spoons. It's two of sets. 
one set's the snowman, and then one set is the pioneer woman. And they're both $1.99. So I'm going to let the pioneer woman one ride in the buggy. So with the Looney Tunes thing, um, I'm from Texas and we used to go to this mall there. I can't remember what it's called now, but they had a Looney Tunes store. I thought it was the coolest thing. You go in and they had like this spaceship thing that you could get in and press a couple buttons. So that was the coolest thing. And then when my kids find something like that, they're just like, I've never seen this person. I was like, okay. dollar <laughs> ninety nine each on those brass, I don't know if they're ducks or geese, probably geese. I mean, my kids have watched Tom and Jerry and they've watched like Bugs Bunny, but I don't think they've ever seen, uh, is that Yosemite Sam? And they've watched the one with the chicken, like the really, really big chicken. <laughs> I don't know his name either. And they were at my son with another Nerf gun. <laughs> he talks about it. So right before I take the kids to the school, to the store, I'm always like, okay, we're going to this Goodwill. And he's like, okay, does that one have the toys? And I was like, yeah, that one has the toys. So he's always super excited. And then he goes, I hope they have the Nerf guns. And that's all he talks about. <laughs> that's $1.99. Self-adhesive sheets. Put in your printer. I'll let that ride. But that's not for resale. That's some type of spaceship toy thing. Oh, it's a weather. What time? I think is what it says. Three ninety nine. I'm gonna plug it in and see if it works. Cute little teacup or teapot. Four ninety nine. Like a wind chime. I don't know if somebody would put that outside though. I think it would get broken. That'd be cute if you had like a screened in porch. They had put some more stuff on the shelf so I wanted to look one more time. I am going to grab these, not the tall one, maybe I should have got the tall one too, but I got the smaller ones for like crayons and other little school knickknacks. I thought that was perfect. And if y'all are new to my channel and y'all made it this far, I do homeschool my kids, but people that watch my channel already know that. <laughs> A little hedgehog. It is from Target. It is $6.99. And I bet it came with like a serving spoon. So I don't think it's a cookie jar. I mean, I guess you could use it for whatever you wanted to. But it's three ninety nine. It says like S A G O. S O G A. I remember when I first started videotaping my thrifting trips, I was so like embarrassed <laughs> to be videotaping, but now it doesn't bother me at all. Now I get people that they'll either stare because they're wondering what I'm doing or maybe they've seen other people do it and it just doesn't bother them anymore. Or I've had people come up and ask me what I was doing and I tell them. <laughs> Dollar ninety nine. I am gonna grab. They do have some more of those, and they had them at the other Goodwill too. Just on Monday, that video. 
And I know sometimes they can sell well, but I feel like they sell better if you have a set and not just one glass. And I'm pretty sure these did come from McDonald's. And I remember my mom had all of them. All of the ones that came out, she get, she would go and get them. And that's a penguin. I am going to pick those up. I think they'll do well, especially during Christmas time. But I am going to do comps right now, and then I'll head home and I'll show you what I pick up. All right, so we are back home. Y'all already know. I did pick up this, only because it's funny to me, but it does have some damage. You can see it right there. I didn't notice it until I got home. Maybe it happened on the way home or at Goodwill. Who knows? But I did pick it up. Probably not a good sell because I did the comps when I got home because I couldn't find it in the store. And then when I got home, I looked it up some more and none of them had sold. Only smaller ones that were just like a one, you know, just like one of these. And this has three. So I don't know. And it wasn't this one. It was like the black and white cat. And it wasn't the skunk. It was the black and white cat. I don't know that one's name. Anyways, and they had like Tasmanian Devil. That one sells. But I feel like that one might sell too. Maybe around Christmas time it might take a little bit. But I still think somebody will want that. I don't know. I feel like that kind of stuff comes back and stays in kind of thing. I don't know. I did my toddler found this. She loves going back to electronics because she likes getting calculators or anything that looks like a calculator. And I guess to her, this looks like a giant calculator, but it's from Radio Shack. And I was like, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like a dinosaur. It's $8.99, but a green tag is 50% off. And if it doesn't work, then you can take it back within seven days. It does take two double A's and I could not get it opened while I was in the store because this thing is like locked in there like Fort Knox cannot open it I even asked the worker when I went to check out if they had like a key that they could like pop in there or a screwdriver and they didn't have a key which I thought was weird I said okay I said do you have a pen and still couldn't get it open so then I was like I'll just figure it out when I get home and I just used a little flathead screwdriver got it open it does work it is loud but I'll turn it on that part's not loud. It's like when you actually do the... Oh, that's loud. See? <laughs> I don't know every... See, it says bottom. I don't know what that means. I don't know. But maybe I'll look up and see if I can find... If I'll Google it and see if they can tell me what all the buttons do. Because, like, level one is different. See, it says wrong. I don't know what bottom means. Oh, I guess you're spelling stuff. I don't know. Enter. Yeah, wrong. Okay. I don't know. But <laughs> the first level is like addition, subtraction. I don't know what the rest do. And there's no volume button. It's just loud. <laughs> It is cool. I will keep that. I did do comps on it though and the comps weren't super great unless it was new in box. I did pick this one up just because I sell uh, deviled egg trays pretty well and it was 50% off. I did pick up the brass. These are probably geese. I do have a duck that I picked up not too long ago and I might, since I still haven't listed that one, I might put them all together. They might have been a set or maybe just the two geese are a set. Right. I did pick up this piece and I did Google it or, um, you know, do eBay, eBay comps and they were labeled as a sun catcher and you like put the string in here and you put it in the window, but I still don't know why it has a hole right here unless you could use it for whatever you wanted to and you could set it up because the other ones that I saw were just a ball, but it's hand blown. I think it's fine. Do well. I do well with glass pieces like that as well. And mugs. I love mugs. I didn't know Joanne had mugs. 
but I guess they do. They have other home decor now nowadays, but I did pick these up. I think they'll do well. They're really heavy, really good quality, and I like the color and the design, just like a minimalist little design, and I think that'd be really cute for Christmas time, and those were 99 cents, and then I did pick these up for myself. That's like a sticker that came off of one of the mugs. I did pick these up because these are expensive. Maybe I should have got the tall one too and I could have put pencils in it. But that's okay. I got the smaller ones. And I don't think they were ever used. Maybe they got them as a gift and just didn't use them. And then this is another calculator. This one is a calculator, but it's by Play School. It is definitely vintage. I don't know what year it is, but I did pick this one up. It does work. And this one's pretty loud, but it has this button where you can turn the sound off. I did pick up that, and I did get the Nerf gun. Now we just need bullets. <laughs> are they called bullets or are they called darts? I don't know. I've never had Nerf guns before. Now my son's at the age where he wants Nerf guns. So I remember going to my aunt's house and she had a son, which would be my cousin. And he had like tons of Nerf guns, tons. I loved them. He was younger than me. And I would like, he had those really, really long ones with like the strap on them. So they were like shotguns, I guess. I don't know. It was so fun. So now we're at that age, right? We're at the age where we can play with Nerf guns. <laughs> Pretty excited. Now I just need to get bullets. But I got this one because it was easier for him to use. The bigger one wasn't very easy for him to use. But he doesn't know that I actually bought it. So it would be a surprise. But I'm not going to give it to him until I can see if the dirt darts work. <laughs> and then I did pick up this. I didn't show it on camera. My daughter had found it and we put it in the bottom of the buggy. It was $3.99. I remember playing something like this. It might have been the same game. But I thought it would be fun. It says age is 7 and up. So definitely not something my two younger ones could play. But they could sit around and pretend to play. And I'll play for them. But the whole set's here. Instructions. The board game. Or the board. You can tell it was used. But that's okay. And then pad and it has the dice and everything so I did pick it up not for resale just for us I like getting things like that for the kids board games things like that that is my haul for the day so I hope everyone has a great Friday great weekend thank you for watching like and subscribe